Collective, it's Kai. So, <laughs> I was going through a whole thing just now. I do want to note, I lack sleep. Um, I only have three hours of sleep. I had caffeine today, so I'm very much awake, but I'm slowly getting tired, which is nice. <laughs> Cause it's 4 26 April 30th Tuesday this video once again is based on my own experiences so please use your own discernment in this video and any of my videos um so <laughs> I might cry feeling that, but I wanted to share a little bit about how I've been processing um, what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking, and I recognize that there's a very insecure past part of myself. And the reason why I bring that up is because Overall, all the efforts that I've been making these past few years that I've been in Vegas has been to love myself more. And I lost myself in relationships. I avoided my feelings with friendships. And when I moved here, I stopped talking and being in any connection with the people from the past, which are people from California, where I used to live. And so, I recognize that I was very mean to myself, and that I really decided to choose other people before me. And then I acknowledge that I am not that person anymore. But I did say sorry to myself. I apologized and I was like, I'm so sorry for treating you so meanly. And making it seem like I wasn't going to be good enough ever or worth it. And so... I feel that especially I got very triggered by the fact that I was feeling attracted to someone and like I said in my videos before not only the most recent one but I didn't like that part of myself I didn't like that I wanted to be soft and cute and very vulnerable and flirtatious and just girly <laughs> I really didn't like that part of myself and so I made different choices to kind of just give myself space from that experience which was a mix of practic practicing abstinence, um, making efforts to be around guys who are like the main gender that I'm attracted to, and at the same time, I'm also releasing, right? Because the biggest and most important thing is choosing, choosing myself no matter what, and being in relationships in the past. In the past, I didn't necessarily choose myself to the point of consistency, so I crumbled and eroded. 
I was very many things, honestly. And so what I learned was to not disempower myself. Yes, I am uncomfortable. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable and I may not know what to say, but I am making efforts through this acknowledgement that I must release control, not only of other people, but more so my own self and my choices. Because I felt kind of embarrassed, to be honest. I was like, thinking so many things. Like, thinking so many things and like, not asking questions. I think that's the biggest thing, is that I wasn't really inquiring or making myself clear with my intentions um, because I don't know what is going to be discovered by pursuing this person and I had felt a lot of shame in the past about being the person who always makes the first move, but like, I'm also recognizing that I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken and not noticing certain cues. I could be noticing the wrong cues, like, I think those were the biggest things about all of this was I simply, one, must be myself, so when I go to this event, I think the mindset that I'm just gonna have is to be with myself, to really be with myself and enjoy this, because going to a K-pop event is like connecting with my inner child, and I was listening to a lot of new K-pop just to kind of like prep myself and I also realized, like, K-pop's fucking raw, dude. Like, some of that shit, it just goes so hard. But K-pop has been a very big part of my life in my former years of, um, what would you call that? I don't, I wouldn't say adolescence, but years since I was, like, five years old. Oh my god, no way. <gasps> It's been more than a decade, but obviously I had years of hiatus because, yeah, I just, yeah, I don't even want to go into that, but, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to this event. If I have the chance to talk to this person, I think that's the biggest thing is like, I don't want to text, I want to talk in person and make myself clear is like, I am attracted. To you um i didn't even ask them if they were single so and i do wear a promise ring to myself to like respect my body and respect my space um and honor my love and so i think that's also another thing is like i don't know this person um i do know them enough as a dj but like that's a totally different tier of <laughs> like knowing someone it's frequency and yet at the same time I'm like I think the biggest thing is like it's not about someone choosing you it's about whether you are going to choose them and yet at the same time I do want to bring forth that I'm sure a lot of people feel this um the desire of wanting to be chosen and be desirable and be likable and though hand in hand it does come with like understanding that I'm not meant for everyone and not everyone is meant for me um also not rushing the process 
because I definitely needed to experience this. I definitely needed to understand that I had and even begun to forgive that person who was shutting myself down, making myself feel embarrassed and ashamed and like just like very dysregulated and I, it's like a mix of being traumatized but then at the same time like healing so much and at the same time not actually experiencing this truly where I can pretty much be aware of where I'm at not where I was and so I think it's important not to define yourself on your past experiences. I think it's so important not to, like, also not to note those things, not to disempower the process and the progress and the path. Honestly, it's the path. And yeah, I'm really, really acknowledging that my love is very much a luxury. I, I'm acknowledging that now on the mental scape versus the physical, which I'm still practicing like stretching and nourishing my body and listening to her and also not being confused by my thoughts as if, as if as if I would not be worthy, or unlovable, or not attractive, or all these things, like, I really was going through it, like, I was so in my head, and I was like, oh my god, I need to shower, I just need to, like, clear my space, and then I got stuck in my head again, and, like, this isn't new, this is definitely the dark night of the soul, <laughs> and... Yet at the same time, really acknowledging that that shadow aspect of me not knowing that I was like that to me, truly. Like not knowing enough to the point where I have acknowledged the change and therefore acknowledged what I've changed from, where I am continuing to go. And I just really wanted to share this because I was feeling really insecure and just so foolish like I feel I'm still stepping out of it but I feel like a fool when I am attracted to someone I feel like a fucking fool <laughs> and that part of me is just so weird <laughs> but I don't want to like even call it that I just am becoming a lot more understanding of like where my boundary is with this and like I think it is really important for me to speak up to him and just tell him like I apologize I forgot to ask you this first and foremost and also tell you but like I do have to trust my intuition I have to really trust my intuition because in the end I only have my own judgment to truly make decisions and choices in my life not to discredit or disrespect or dishonor or what's the word? deter myself from other people's experiences or advice or you know like I really I really have built a lot of trust not only with myself but the universe and have built this inner knowing and faith in my own abilities and the beauty of the universe and also trusting my good intentions like I think that's the most important part is like I brought myself back and I was like ah like I don't mean any harm I'm just simply harming myself on the mental plane and so yeah, I'm like, I think I just really do need to be with myself as much as possible before this event and possibly talking to him. I don't know, he's kind of a busy man, so 
I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna happen. So, either way, that I'm not gonna deny could be a possibility. And I apologize, this is all the incense right now, but um, I'm also not gonna repress how I feel. I think that's so important, is I'm not gonna repress how I feel, but I want to respect people's space and their boundaries and it's just my value and my aligned with my morals and so I really I don't want to dishonor myself as much as I had in the past and as much as I can continue to work on that moving forward I think it's just really important for me to be clear and so um yeah that's just kind of what came up today but once again I do appreciate you guys listening for those of you who are hearing me clearly I appreciate that and I am grateful to have an audience I am grateful to be of support and once again I I am a person and so I go through my shit bro <laughs> I've been going through my shit <laughs> I built this like fit today oh my god it's so fucking good it's so good and the bra stays in place so no possible nip slips we don't i'm not comfortable with that for free <laughs> no 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 not for me but yeah i'm like i went sports climbing recently it was so good it was just god i fucking love sports climbing but my feet hurt so much it was crazy like because my reach isn't as like long as my friend it was like it took him like 10 minutes took me like fucking okay honestly probably took me like 15 to 20 minutes it was pretty intense but using a lot of feet i'm also learning that my um technique is a little different sometimes because of my body so i'm also acknowledging that i do need to stretch more i need to fucking stretch and so i'm gonna go do that after this video but um yeah i went sports climbing had a good day at work it was really chill i met someone who came in um very kind lady and her son and it was just a really chill day like even though i only had three hours of sleep it's so funny how that works it's just like i really am grateful for what i've experienced and i'm grateful for this experience in itself to acknowledge the pain to also acknowledge the growth and um, experience what I'm experiencing because it's like, who else is going to experience it? Only me. So, yeah, I also recognize I need a fucking haircut again. Like, my hair is so thick, dude. Like, it's actually insane. Like, look at my hair, right? 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 But it's like right here and then like tying it up and like my bangs are growing out oh gosh and i don't know if i should cut it myself because honestly i like the way i cut it in the past it's just my hair is still growing to the length that i would like it to be for me to start layering it like that yeah i'm just saying random ass shit right now but yeah i will see what happens because i think i also i did want to mention this is like if, for example, I choose this person, right, and they don't choose me, it's not about, or in my perspective, it's not really about, like, how attractive I am to them or whatever, it's their choice, and I don't need to know the reasonings, though I may be presented them, but I think it's really important to not jump to conclusions, like to not make assumptions, to not overthink. And I'm saying this to myself too, like as an introvert, I spend a lot of time alone and sometimes I'm consumed by my thoughts. And I, though majority of the time have a very positive um, outlook on life and so therefore a positive mindset, when these negative parts of myself come forth, I don't try to, I mean, though I may, like, 
in a conditioned manner, try to avoid the experience, I think it's also important that I do get to it. And every single time I'm recognizing how important that is. But it's about compatibility, you know? It's not about attraction. And though, yes, that is a big thing that I do value in relationships is the natural attraction that happens, especially when it comes to partnership and just being connected to someone in more of a romantic and sexual manner even. It's just so important to know about how you know your body, your emotions, how you process things, how you respond and react and like it's just compatibility and sometimes I tend to rush myself and just be like oh my god I'm attracted to someone finally and I'm like no dude like there's so many people in this world and like I'm I'm not surprised that I'm attracted to this person but like at the same time like I already knew but like I didn't do anything about it the first time, <laughs> but like, I, well, but like, compatibility, if we're not compatible, it's not an option for me, to be honest, and I am also recognizing I don't know if I really want like a long-term relationship, well, okay, no, I don't want to say it like that, I want to build a connection with someone and that's really really important to me it's like i want to not rush the process and i would like to get to know them and like i would like them to be open <laughs> to experiencing me and sharing themselves and so yeah i had a whole talk with my friend today because i was like dude like I literally gave him my number, but like, what do I do next? <laughs> like, is there anything I can really do though? And I've come to the consist consensus that I don't really like texting anyways. And I also am detaching from this experience too, because I live my life, he lives his, and like, I have stuff that I need to do, like stretching and sleeping. But yeah. I'll possibly update you guys on Friday. If not, know that I am processing things. <laughs> but thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and thank you for being you and making efforts to be you more and more and to accept yourself as you are, just as I am making efforts as well. But yeah, namaste. I am wishing you the best on your own spiritual journey, okay? Much love.